All right, so I'm back, y'all. Hey, y'all, my name is Kyra Mofort. I am a 21 year old navigating post undergraduate life. I am in Orlando. I just moved here to my very first solo apartment because I will be attending law school in Orlando. I just posted on my story, like, you know, hashtag big girl moves or something like that. And the love I'm getting from it, I think, is amazing. The love and support I'm getting, I'm honestly really loving it because. Before I got here, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I was having doubts. Like, I was really in my head about, am I gonna be able to survive? Am I, am I gonna be able to do this by myself? Especially because usually every single year that I move, I move to a different apartment or dorm. My mom has always been with me. And this year she's not, unfortunately. She has something to do. So, unfortunately it's just me for now. Tomorrow my brother's gonna be coming and he is bringing my car. It's full of all my knickknacks, sheets, bedding, bathroom essentials, all of that. But for right now, I just wanted to be here so that he had somebody to meet him here. And bam, and now I'm standing in my empty apartment. So basically, let me sit down and catch y'all up as to what's been going on while I've been here. So, I took a flight earlier this morning. My flight actually got delayed, it was really bad but I actually had to come here a little early because I had an appointment with a pest control guy. I live in Florida. Florida is very much known for having a lot of bugs, a lot of pests, and I personally cannot deal with that in my homes. So for my own comfort, I honestly decided I wanted to take like preventative measures to like avoid having bugs in my house because I'm a very clean person and bugs bother the fuck out of me. So I decided I wanted to use my own pest control person as opposed to my properties because Y'all know how apartment properties be. Nothing against this property because they have been so helpful, kind, and lovely. But I don't know, it's just something about hiring your own services and like, you know, like nobody's gonna get it right unless you do it yourself, you know? Basically what he did for me was he set up a whole bunch of bait traps. He sprayed in and outside of my house, especially the outdoor area by the grass and the mulch which is a place of moisture which obviously bugs love moisture so i made sure he sprayed all of that down he also sprayed a bunch of powder i did also make sure he went inside my bathroom and he got the bathroom area because that is also like a hot spot for moisture obviously and then i could just call him back whenever i want to because i paid for like a year-round service and he can just treat my house so i plan on doing that at least once a month just to keep critters away because Y'all know how dirty people can get. And in order to prevent a future mess, I took the initiative to come in and have everything sprayed down. So basically I've been waiting here for like a few hours just for everything to dry so that I can go around and start cleaning up in my apartment. So before they, obviously, before they give me the apartment, they're supposed to clean it out, do everything. And they did, but they did like a subpar job. And I say subpar, I mean subpar. Like, I could still tell, like, there was a person that definitely used that tub before me and definitely used the toilet before me because I definitely flushed a construction worker's pee today. Um, but anyways, I bought a whole bunch of supplies from Dollar Tree. Right now, we're about to go around my apartment and we're about to clean up. I actually just finished my Chick-fil-A. But then tonight, we will not be spending the night here because obviously I don't have any sheets or anything. I just have my entire wardrobe. So I will be staying at a hotel not too far from here for the night. And then tomorrow morning when my brother gets here with all my stuff, we can clean up and do our whole thing. And then on top of that, I just think cleaning tonight will make it so much easier tomorrow morning because then I could just set everything up. Like I don't have to wait for nobody. I don't have to wait for nothing. Just get up and set it all up. But anyways, what I do all y'all though is it's an empty apartment tour. So let's get to that. So this is the entryway of my apartment. I love this door. It's so big, it's super tall. It is sitting next to my pantry. My pantry is just as tall as this and I love it so much. It's so cute. And then over here, I have my, I guess it's like a boiler room-ish area in my apartment. It's not really a storage closet, which I was so upset about, but it's okay, that's fine. So 
So when you walk into the entryway, you walk into this bright, nice, lit up room, open concept. I love my kitchen. I love my living room. I do not have a set dining room area in here. I actually opted for bar stools at the kitchen counter. So I don't know. I just didn't want to clutter the space too bad. So yeah, that's what I went with. But now we're in my kitchen. So in the kitchen, we do have a set of matte gray stainless steel appliances, which I really, really love. I love that I have an electric stove. Even though I do prefer gas, electric is just safer in an apartment complex and that I will always agree on. I do have a lot of cabinet space. All this cabinet space for myself is miraculous because honestly i've gone from sharing a kitchen for two years now and it has been the most annoying concept ever and now that i know i have all this space to myself and i can spread out like all my spices all my food and organize in the way i'd like and not fear that somebody's going to eat it in my house that's a good feeling so after the stove and sink area we have my refrigerator So that is my living room. I honestly love it. I honestly love the sleek and modern furniture package and then the 55 inch flat screen, cute LED 4K TV. Love that. Honestly, there isn't much to talk about in the bedroom. Furniture package in here is obviously basic. I I basically opted for kind of like what they would give you in, you know when dorm, like student housing suddenly goes like apartments on campus, like I opted for that package in this room. And then And ladies and gentlemen, that is my entire empty apartment.